Well, the first shimmy of the feet and the first big hit of the day. That is beautifully struck. Goes again, this time all along the ground. It's a classic cricket shot. It's a boundary four to finish off the over. So an opening over, which costs West Indies 12. 12 without loss after one. Well, that one he's got hold of much more emphatically. The first one was slightly mistimed, miscued. This one is in one of Josh Butler's favourite slots. The reverse comes out and he's beautifully struck. Not just any old reverse sweep, but a reverse sweep for six. Ah, that's well played too. The little shimmy, the dummy shimmy from Butler. And back in position, spotted the gap, nailed it, six and four to finish off. 15 from the over 36 without loss, up to four. Well, that's flicked over the top of that same man at short pine. There's enough height to clear him. That's going to go all the way. Ten yards over that boundary rope. And this is now turning out to be the most expensive over of the day so far. That is so impressive. Massively impressive to hit a ball of that length down the ground. This has been sublime batting from England, but even better from Sol. Oh no, that is too good. Fielder came straight up in the circle and he saw a deck to beat him and bring up his third T20 International 50. So commanding, so authoritative. The hands are just so quick. Yeah, not a glorious shot. Opened up that offside again. This is so powerful from England. How do you stop this if you're a bowler? Even better. Colossal from the captain. He brings up another 50 in international cricket. His 22nd T20 international half century. A return to the top of the order has produced a return to runs. That's a wrong. Chant for Powell again. Takes it. Finally, the West Indies have the first. It does seem to be pace on, but the length, it's, it's pretty low. Would have taken a bit more height. Welcome with a maximum, a little bit too short and not, not enough pace from Rutherford. So continues the attack. Short again, dispatched again. This time, disdainfully. Way in front of square, around the wicket, changes the angle, but it doesn't change the result. Make that a hat-trick of sixes, this one even further. What an assault this is. Cream the way finds the gap, another boundary. Continues to pillage Rutherford. Even better, all the way for six. Will Jax at his best, his very best. Well, they've gone ahead now. That one goes the distance. Another maximum for Phil Salt. That is eight, six of the innings so far. What a shot, inside out. Just gave himself a little bit of room. That's power, that's brute force. And that's a 50-run partnership of just 19 deliveries. Ah! Huge shout. Finger goes up. Akil Hussain gets the breakthrough. They'll consider the review. Well, Jackie coming up. Original decision is out. 
pitching outside of in back in line wickets hitting can we go back to greg on field greg at the stay with your out decision let you know when you're on screen you're on screen now signal decision upheld and that's it consecutive t20 international centuries for phil salt a man who has spent some time here in the caribbean in barbados he's relishing this opportunity fine leg was up in the circle so even though liam livingston probably didn't get it out the middle of the bat nonetheless the desired result He swats it, Powell in play, no he's not. The sheer power and brute force of this man. Oh, that's not a good start. Highest T20 international score for Phil Saul. Short again. And Phil Salt has picked up anything short and he's dispatched it. He goes straight, and it will, will it? Yeah, just sail over. Livingston is so powerful down the ground when it's straight. Pace off, and six more. This has been carnage, absolute carnage at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. That's a Yorker, and finally, the West Indies get Phil Salt, but what an innings it has been. Somehow he just gets that back court. The line is good, the length is good. That is pretty much exactly what Andre Russell wanted. Also with a hint of reverse. Full toss. And Livingston has displayed good strength in that extra cover region when they've missed their length, the West Indies. Good start to the over. Yeah, he's disgusted. He knows he misses line holder. And also the full toss allows Livingston to get to a half century. He can, but unfortunately for the West Indies, it still finds a way to get to the boundary. It sums up what has been just carnage from England. Got it. Oh, yeah. what a start. What a start for Moen Ali, what a start for England. Very, very disconsolate trudge off for Brandon King. A little bit short, a little bit wide, but the top edge didn't carry Reese Topley. The reverse goes quickly and that is smashed away. Catch it! Oh! Well, he's hit it even harder. And he's found the gap. The first one went over the top. That one evaded the man on the square by a good few yards. Well, what hitting this is. Well, you certainly cannot fault Nicholas Brown either for intent or execution. Oh dear, oh dear, Moinelli, that's dropped short and that's gone even further. This ground has come to light in the first over of the supply, the first over going for 20. It's high and handsome and it's long enough by a very comfortable margin. Well, that's gone high, but no distance. This is tricky, but oh! But all is well that ends well for Chris Wokes and for Reese Topley. Carmez didn't get hold of this. West Indies lose their second. That's a great shot. That is just a lovely shot. gone as well not quite as far this time but certainly far enough Shea Hope has opened his shoulders and his opening gambit is yes another six 
First ball goes high, he hasn't got hold of it. Will it drop safely? That is a brilliant effort. That is the most brilliant catch. Kieran in and having to lunge at the last moment. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, true. Rutherford gave himself plenty of room. Squeezes that first ball through that packed offside field. It's a crashing shot. Curran didn't miss by much there. Full of length, just outside off stump. It's a crashing shot. Just politely asked someone to throw that back. That's gone many a mile into the stands over at Long Off. That is a top shot. That's a good indication and another one of how good the surface is and how good the shot was. Should be gone. Phil Salt is underneath it and takes it and walk strikes. Another breakthrough, losing wickets at quick succession. A spliced off the bat and Phil Salt who could almost do no wrong in this series. Well, even though they're on the ring, they won't stop that. All muscle from Rutherford. Rutherford striking well, striking very well. 19 from 6 for him. He is a champion, Adil Rashid. He is an absolute champion and master. So skillful and experienced, and Rispin does for the West Indies captain again. A disappointment, but what a delivery from Adil Rashid. Someone take it on the bank. No, I missed it. That is all the power that you come to expect from Dre Russ. Otherwise, you're going to get more and more and more like this. He was short and now full and swept beautifully by Rutherford. Ah, how is that? You've got to give it, man. Yes. Rutherford reviews it straight away. Well, Jockey coming up. Pitching in line. In back in line. Rick is hitting. Two wickets in two deliveries. Holder comes, Holder goes, and Rayan Ahmed has back-to-back -back strikes. This is what pressure will do, chasing a big target of 267. Caught well inside the boundary. I think he's got enough on it. Just. Patrick Ball. Doesn't matter. Sixes. It's raining sixes. It's been raining throughout the series, actually. There's a top shot from Hossein. Just because of the placement, eventually it gets to the boundary. But to find extra cover that region for four is excellent. There's that short ball that we've seen sometimes and gets another wicket, does Sam Curran. Nowhere near the middle, slow delivery. Completely flamoxes Hussein. Simple enough catch for Moin Ali. Taken. They're very skillful from Topley. But Russell's not finished yet. Adil Rashid back into the attack. Greeted with force and power. Six more. Andrew Russell, I tell you. Three sixes and over, that's the first. Something for the fans to cheer about. This might be the biggest of the night. 
this could be the end. It is the end. A comprehensive win by England. Yeah, trying to go for another. Might have been a slower delivery from Topley. Again, very skillful. And a good catch in the night sky, very high. Harry Brook, though he misfielded one earlier, he's reprieved. And they're all relieved and happy. England win the fourth by 75 runs, and the series is alive.